Today's second video of the day, today's second video covers thin air. As we know, the current climate of the aviation industry has made operations of some companies challenging. However, while we may see demand grow in these sectors, especially in comparison to what they were dealing with during the height of the pandemic, other concerns loom. For Finnair, they say there's a lot of uncertainty in the industry to date. And as a result, anticipating what the performance of this calendar year, 2023, will look like isn't guaranteed. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine has heavily hit Finnair. The subsequent closure of Russian airspace has meant that the airline had to reroute services and also suspend some. In addition, as a result of the soaring fuel prices, it's hurt their operations too. For 2022, the year just gone, Finnair reported, yes, an increase in revenue. However, while revenue grew and there were other positives within the airline's business, there were looming concerns. Concerns are only heightened as Finnair continues battling with difficulties. Finnair earned US $2.4 billion in revenues. This is a significant jump on 2021's performance, calculated to be a 181% increase. As a business, it is equally important to adapt to current challenges. Finnair, while being hurt by Russian airspace closures, continued lengthy lockdowns, they say the network will only see changes as they look to adapt. Executives note that they hope to forge greater performance. This could be thanks to Asia's reopening, additional partnerships, and new potential code share and route expansions. We've seen many airlines that may be struggling to forge a route network for themselves look to partner up with existing airlines on popular services, getting their airline out there. Any expansion, though, of the business or adjustments will have to be done in the correct manner. Given the current operating climate, any wrong decision cannot be afforded, as this could significantly impact the long-term sustainability of the business. The Nordic region, which consists of Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland, and more, has always seen airlines struggle, whether it be the business model, the demand, or much more. We've seen low-cost airlines come and go, and for Finnair, an airline that has been around for a very long time, they'll be doing everything in their power and look towards the long term to be an airline that will be around for many more decades. They've had their challenges, but like many airlines have said, none have hit as hard as the past couple of years. From the pandemic to labor shortages, and if you're unfortunately located around the Ukraine-Russian area, or you potentially use the airspace to your advantage, well, that's hit you even harder than for some other airlines. It's all part of the aviation industry, which unfortunately, while it is so amazing, is also so unforgiving. If you have any thoughts, you can let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, take care, be safe, and I will see you next time.